so I purchased my uh, Bimini top for my wakeboard tower, which is a monster MTE model. And I decided to do an over the top mount. First thing I noticed was that the uh, box had all the parts, no instructions. I also checked out the website or the listing and I didn't see any instructions, PDF or anything like that. So just decided to take a look at the photo listings and then kind of construct it based off of that, like putting together a puzzle. First thing I did was just take all the parts out and lay them across the canvas piece, um, just based off the pictures. And there was two pieces in the front and the rear that kind of matched the, the fabric piece. And then according to the picture, so I just did that. And then I took the two sidebars um, that had holes in them, obviously that went with the, uh, the uh, front and the back and clipped right into it. So I took those and put those together. And then from that point, I started to just kind of, you know, place all the other parts in uh, the places that I thought it would go. Uh, first thing I did notice too was that the fabric was a really high quality fabric, stitched very well, and it seemed very, very tough. Um, it had four zippers on the front and two on the side and one in the back, <clears throat> and then also Velcro all the way around on the corners. That was really strong. So uh, the, the middle bar, there was two middle bars uh, that went across like in the photo. I used these two risers that I had to purchase separately or in addition uh, to mount it in the rear. And um, this bar here was an adjustable bar that went, it was supposed to go in the rear, but because of the way my configuration was uh, with my bar, it wouldn't work right. So depending on what type of uh, wakeboard tower you have uh, will be kind of, I think the deciding factor of which bar goes in the front. I just, it didn't matter for my application. So I just threw it in the front and then put the other one in the back and attached it to the side bars. Next, I took the two front, uh, riser arms and connected them to the clamps and then, um, tightened those down to the side bars. And, uh, from that point, um, was able to just take the entire frame and put it onto the boat. <clears throat> so here I'm just tight tightening down and then putting the frame onto the boat itself. Initially, as you can see in the rear, I had the risers kind of sitting high, but it didn't end up working out. The frame was extending too far forward. I wanted it to sit more in the middle and, um, because of the front arms length, having it so far out in the front just wasn't going to work. Um, ended up kind of pointing downward. So I had to readjust. Uh, first, I just clamped those arms down the front first, and then I readjusted the rear ones. Um, I noticed that the uh, rubber inserts that came for the clamps there, they didn't really fit on mine. Um, I had eight inch clamps for whatever reason didn't work. So I just took them off and just went bare uh, metal to metal. And uh, it tightened fine. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, but uh, that's what I did. So. As you can see here, I took those riser arms and flattened them instead of standing straight up vertically. I just made them to sit, you know, uh, flat parallel to that middle bar. And that was the only way that I could get mine to work again, not having any instructions. I didn't know if that was the right way, but that's the way that worked. So you can see here, it's kind of laying flat and just connected to the side. And then on the other side, the same application. And the front arms, um, uh, attach those and clamp those down. Um, again, not using the rubber inserts, uh, the frame itself can be adjusted to come forward or backwards, uh, based on kind of how you want it. But what I noticed was the, once the cover was put on the, the canvas cover, the zippers on the side for me, they didn't attach, uh, all the way. So I had to, push the adjust the whole frame forward um, to get the zippers to to uh, close completely but once I had the cover on it was pretty much just a matter of uh, lining everything up and then just zippering uh, making sure to also initially I didn't have everything kind of square so it wasn't lining up correctly and that made the canvas top very difficult to get on all the way but once I adjusted it and had it all you know square uh, the canvas top went right on real, real easy. 
So this is the final uh, look here. We're out in the water. Um, it, it was really good. It held up great in the wind. Had it up to 30 miles an hour and nothing. No rattling, no shaking, nothing. The thing was really strong. I even had it pulled on the trailer uh, up to 50 miles an hour and nothing. Again, it was super strong. Never had any shaking or rattling or anything wrong with the fabric flapping or anything like that. So really pleased with it. And uh, if I can answer any questions, I'd be happy to. Thanks for watching.